Hey everyone, in the last PC Noob Guide video I covered how to clean up your Windows PC to make it run faster. In this guide I will show you how to remove viruses and malware from your computer. Malware can slow down your PC quite a bit, mess with your computer's operations, and cause threats to your personal safety. And first to start, you should always make sure you have an antivirus program. There are a bunch of excellent free ones online. The two I'd recommend are AVG's Free Antivirus and Avast. Both are among the best free downloads for antivirus software right now, and you can find the links for both of them below this video. But for this video I'm going to show you AVG. I have the free version installed on this computer right now, with Windows 7, and when it's installed you can find it in the taskbar down here, right here, you can open it here, or at the start menu, AVG, and it'll bring up this little window for it, and it'll show you a bunch of tabs in tile form like this fix performance which is basically what the C cleaner does. I usually prefer to use C cleaner over this anyways. But here you can click scan now to start scanning your computer for viruses and malware and stuff like that. And AVG will also keep you covered over time while you use your computer. And you can set it up to automatically scan the whole thing once in a while. Or you can put in dates and stuff. It's nice to run it when you're not actually using your computer because it does slow things down when it's running the scan and it does take quite a long time, mostly depending on your PC's performance. Alright, when it's done it'll tell you it's complete. I ended it early because I know you all don't want to wait around. But anyways, it'll show you a list of any threats it found and ask you if you want to get rid of them. And usually you do, but sometimes there might be a false positive. So if you know you have something on your computer that could show up as a virus, but you know it's really not, you can leave it alone. But anyways, that's that. Next, it's always good to scan your computer with multiple programs, not just one, since not every antivirus picks up 100% of malware. The best addition for this is Malware Bytes, which is also a free download and is used more as an on-demand scanner than an actual ongoing protection program like AVG. But anyways, you can download the free version here, or buy the Pro, which has some extra features, and you can open it at the start menu, right there, da -da -da, yeah. And here you'll get this window with a bunch of tabs, but the main thing here is the scanner, and you could do a quick scan or perform a full computer scan, which may be recommended if you haven't actually scanned your computer in a long time, and you might be suspicious of something some kind of malware on your computer. Anyways, go ahead and scan this. Choose which drives you want to scan. Usually the C drive is your main hard drive, but it can also scan other drives. If you don't know what these drives are, just leave the auto checks there and click scan. Now, like the AVG scanner, this will also take a long time. But Malwarebytes is usually faster and finds more stuff. See, it's already found six threats on this computer. But anyways, Malwarebytes is the best and most popular free software for antivirus and malware scanning, but it's also good to have AVG on at all times to have an ongoing protection. Plus, it's good to scan it with more than one. Now, if your PC is infected and won't allow you to install any software or anything, try restarting your computer in safe mode. To do this, hit the F8 key before Windows loads up when you restart your computer. You can just keep tapping it multiple times if you need to. Then you can choose to start Windows in safe mode, or safe mode with networking if you still need to download Malwarebytes and install it. If you're still having trouble accessing a network for downloads in safe mode, you can try using Windows Defender, which comes with Windows. It's basically the same thing, you can type it in the start menu and find it there. Now, if your PC is in such bad condition that you can't even access Windows in safe mode, you will have to reboot your PC with a boot disk to skip Windows altogether. Now, that is for the worst case scenario, so I'll save that for another video in the future. If your problems are really serious, you may have to take your PC to a professional if you aren't feeling really crazy tech savvy. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully it helps you clean that pile of malware off your PC. And if you liked the video, please rate it, and be sure to subscribe for future PC Noob Guide videos. I'll talk to you all again soon.